Although it's covered in my other course, the complete kit, I want to touch on some of the fundamentals of home brewing. These become so much more important when, you, when you're brewing from grain. You're investing a lot more time and energy, so you really want your, your beer to be okay. The biggest part of this is cleaning and sanitising. So always use products that are made for, for cleaning and sanitising. I recommend PPW or Powdered Brewery Wash and Star Sand as the standard cleaner and no rinse sanitizer. PPW do, will do a really good job of taking the visible grime off your fermenter and uh, bits and pieces. Star Sand is a no rinse sanitizer, so this means you can spray it on and not have to wash it off. So use these two products together with some elbow grease. It'll mean your beer is going to taste clean and it's not going to become infected. Never use abrasive scourers or pads to clean your gear and always wear gloves. Cleaners and sanitizers aren't great for your hands and your hands aren't really good for the beer either. You've got microbes in the cracks of your skin and under your nails that, are, that may lead to infections in your beer later. So always wear gloves, particularly with all grain beer where you're going to have a lot of hot liquids and hot grain. You want a, enough healthy yeast cells and you want them to be rehydrated properly before you pitch them. An 11 gram pack of fresh healthy yeast is going to do the job. You want to rehydrate this in warm water. If you pitch directly dry into your fermenter, this can destroy up to 50% of the cell walls. Check out my other course, The Complete Kit, for further instructions about how to rehydrate yeast. This step is really important. You want to make sure that your yeast is viable before you pitch it, and you want to make sure that you've got enough healthy yeast there to do its job. The other key area you need to pay attention to is your fermentation temperature. Your yeast will have a preferred working range, it's really important that your beer ferments at this working range. If your yeast works too high, it's going to create some really bad flavours. It's also going to make higher alcohols, which can lead to hangovers and headaches, which you definitely don't want. If it's too low, your beer just won't ferment. Or the fermentation is going to be sluggish. This can lead to sugars ending the bottle, which if they keep fermenting, it's going to cause problems like overcarbonation and explosion. So always ferment at the right temperature, and always use a hydrometer to make sure your fermentation is progressing the way it should. There's a wide range of things you can do to brew at the, at the right temperature. These range from choosing the time of year to you, when you brew or choosing the, the type of yeast to suit the, the ambient temperature, even down to setting up your own fermentation fridge with an external thermostat. If you can control your wort's fermentation temperature, that'll have a huge impact on your beer's flavour. The last key area you want to pay good attention to is quality ingredients. So your beer is only going to be as good as the ingredients you put into it. This means that your grain needs to be within its use by date, the hops need to be fresh and green, the yeast needs to be a premium brewing yeast. Make sure your water is drinkable. If you can put really good ingredients into the process, you're going to get a really good beer at the other side of it.